today we're looking at wiring a TZT100 controller to our ISD141KYX. For the purposes of this video, we've wall mounted our TZT controller to the side of the electrical panel of the unit. Wiring is made using a four core shielded cable, which is terminated on the bottom terminal strip as provided and is labelled behind each terminal. From there, our cable is then run through to our IEC board, which is then terminated on the top plug, which is our RS485. Keeping in mind that our A and B terminals, which are directly wired to our TZT, are polarity sensitive, therefore need to be located in the correct terminal. Now that we've wired our TZT controller to our IUC, the next step is then our interconnecting cable between our ISD unit and our OSA. This cable is a two core shielded cable, which you can see we've bought in through the electrical panel, and then is terminated into the same terminals as our Modbus connection for our TZT controller. The two terminals are A and B, and again are polarity correct and require the same connection at either end. The last part of the Modbus wiring between the ISD and our OSA outdoor unit is via our interconnect cable which we previously terminated on our IEC board. Connection into our outdoor unit is through our electrical compartment and onto our RS485 plug which is located second plug down on the UC8. Again it is a two core shielded cable which is then terminated into our A2 and B2 terminals on the UC8. Now that we have wired our TZT100 and remote thermostat to our backing plate, our final step in setting up our TZT is, is to arrange the dip switches as per the quick setup guide supplied with the controller. These dip switches may vary depending on the Temperzone model. 